apparently he had got cut off. The, the motorcycle got cut off from the guy with the truck. And apparently they was mad. And they was trying to uh, get the law involved any way they could. Like I say, whenever they went around, <clears throat> uh, right there in front of McDonald's at the red light, the uh, guy in the black truck was sitting in front of me and the box came up next to me and asked me to call the law. This guy just backed into it. And then we went to the next red light and we got stopped. They, you know, the other guy, uh, JR, the black gentleman, was telling me we need to call the law. He, he just backed over our box. I followed him all the way here. As soon as we get to uh, this road, I told, I told the sheriff's office, we're turning left into a dead end street, Mary and Emily. And when I seen him pulling his house, I gave him the house up. And he wasn't, <clears throat> like I said, it wasn't even 45 seconds. He got out of his truck, went inside, he opened his big garage door, he came back out with a, a black pistol in his hand, and he held it up in the air, and he called everybody MFers, and he used the N word. Uh, <laughs> when I seen the pistol, I, st I slowly started easing off. I probably didn't get five foot from the guys on the bike when he walked out the street and started shooting from about me to you. That's how close. How many times did he fire? Mm -hmm. Ten times.